Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a little something on the bench for you here. So this is the Ultimate 1S LiPo Sag Detector Discharger and Destroyer. So <laughs> we're going to we're gonna go through a couple things with this. Uh, about six months ago, I showed this in the end of one of my videos and just now had some people interested in wanting to make their own. So we're just going to go through some of its functions. So there's three things. It can take a fully lip, uh, charged LiPo down to storage. Um, it will very quickly and then also it will take it all the way to zero so it will destroy the lipo so you can cut your connector off and safely discard your your uh, lipo um, the other thing it'll do is check sag so you can actually put a load on your lipo and and actually see how much sag it has so the percentage of sag uh, so those are the things that I'm just going to go through in this video, the pieces and parts, and how they work. So that's what this video is about, so stay tuned. Alright, so we have all of our components. Um, I just mounted them all to this little piece of wood and then I have some anti-skid nylon bumpers this is just like cabinet bumpers to keep your cabinet doors from slapping shut um, so I just stuck those on the bottom so it doesn't want to slide around on me um, and also it keeps the heads of the screws from ruining my wonderful wood working surface um, I, I just I don't like silicon mats I love my hands are always on this bench, so I, I like to have wood. And I don't know if you noticed, but I updated my wood. It's a little bit nicer piece. Uh, but anyway, so the first component is a PWM switch. So this is a motor controller, a DC motor controller. I went with this because it has an automatic uh, surge protection, two amps. So if you were to, you know, maybe turn it on and then bump it too much, you're not going to... Um, have to worry too much this has an internal automatic reset uh, if you go over two amps so that surge protection was kind of important to me and then also the duty cycle is from one or actually zero percent to a hundred percent so all the little movement on this dial uh, actually has a meaning so that's good uh, that it's not like you know when you first turn it on it's not just slam all the way up so you have to turn it up if that makes sense to you so zero to one two three four five six seven eight okay um, at this point right here you can kind of see the corner of the uh, case and the dial so what I've done is I've indicated for myself where two amps comes into play because I'm discharging at two amps into this 200 watt uh, block I have two of these uh, resistors in play so the reason why I went with two of these 100 watt blocks is because of heat dis dissipation uh, when you're discharging a lipo quickly uh, it can get very hot and that's why I've chose to go with this route because I just discharged like 18 lipos at once okay so while I was on the phone on a phone call I discharged 18 lipos um, if you do that with let's say your ViFly charger um, not only is it going to take a while, but you're going to heat this thing up quite a bit. Um, discharging a couple lipos or discharging a little bit, I think would be fine. But personal preference, my opinion, I'd rather not discharge six fully charged lipos down on my charging unit. I just uh, personally don't want to do that. Uh, so I did go with these because of the amount of surface area that I can cool off. I, I do have a fan that I... Uh, put in front of it so I want to keep this entire thing cool uh, this board does uh, get as warm as well um, I think at the end of the video I'll just sketch out a, a wiring diagram of, of where everything goes it's really simple to make one of these and then the 1s lipo checker so I just have a, a connector that I've put on here you can solder it in if you want but I, I have a, the ability to make my own connectors um, and then so I have that plugged in all the time so as soon as I plug in so I have the the system turned off and then I plug in my lipo immediately my 1s lipo checker uh, will tell me what my voltage is so 4.22 now I will zoom in on this and I'll modify my lighting so that this screen will come up better um, but that's pretty much it for the wiring uh, the motor 
controller. Let me grab another one of these so I can kind of show you the pinout on the back. Uh, so on the back here, you can see that it says power negative, power positive. So that's where your LiPo goes. Your, your LiPo will plug into your power negative and power positive. So that would look like this, right? So the LiPo is going into those two ports here. And then the other one is motor positive and motor negative. Okay, so you can run that either way on your resistor. The resistor doesn't have polarity, so it doesn't care which side you plug it in. So just pick one. So that's kind of the overall components that I'm using. So pretty simple, uh, very effective. So function, the, f the first function that we're going to do is we're just going to check our LiPo. So let me go ahead and zoom in here and get the lighting for that screen. All right, so I have everything. So I have my shutter speed and lighting perfect so you can see this. All right, so 4.22. So 4.22, that's that's a fully charged LiPo, okay? So this is a low volt, so it's not high volt. Low volt, 4.2 volts, fully charged. So if I were to turn my dial on, you can see the, the indicator change here. So now we're creating a load. And I know because I've plugged this into my multimeter and I've done an amp draw test. So I know that when I first turn on the switch and I see this little LED indicator right here. Okay, so my indicating LED lets me know that the system is turned on. That I'm getting about 0.2, roughly around 0.2 amps. So as I increase this knob up to the corner edge of this, uh, it's about 2 amps. In the center, it's about two and a half, which would be kind of the max load. Um, for this circuit, it's two amp load. That's that's kind of the the max current. Now, if you if you see this little LED indicator right here, if I were to turn this up, and let's say oh, over max it, so turn this all the way, you know, to see how that indicator just went off. That's the internal surge protection. So that way this motor controller is not going to allow five amps let's say it's only going to allow two amp continuous about two and a half amp burst for a certain amount of time and then it will go into a surge protection so once you turn the voltage off and you turn it back on you can see that the led indicators come back on okay i'm going to turn it off so now our our lipo voltage is uh 4.16 so with it turned off, we, we've just discharged this 0 0.04 volts in just that amount of time, okay? Um, really, you can't, at 2 amps, you can't over-discharge this LiPo. The, this LiPo is used to run in your quadcopter, and trust me, a whoop would definitely pull more than 2 amps. So let's go ahead and turn this on. We'll run it to about 2 amps. 3.97 so if I were to turn this up just a little bit so right about there so nothing's nothing's getting warm or or any issues at this point in time um, I will I do like to kind of check to make sure that this isn't getting too hot so we just leave this on here until this comes up to 3.80 now if your battery's really saggy and you turn the system off then it would uh, bounce back quite a bit further up. So we'll go ahead and turn it off, and now we'll go ahead and check our LiPo where are we at now. So 4.0, 4.01. So let's go ahead and turn it back on. And we can take this down to storage. So we'll go to 3. Point, probably 3.80 is a, is a good idea number. So we're at 3.78, 3.80, 3 3.83. I'm going to turn it off and then see where we're at once it bounces back. So you can see that this LiPo has a fair amount of sag because it went from 3.80 with a load to 3.94, 3.95. So we'll go ahead and turn it back on. Uh, this LiPo is quite saggy. Um, 
that's the other thing that's nice about this not only can you take it down to storage but you could take it down to zero volts um, we're starting to warm up a little bit so I'll put the fan but the thing is is when you're discharging you know all, all of these these 1s lipos you know that doing it on your charger just kind of is one of those things I'm gonna go ahead and let this um, discharge all the way down to zero volts so we'll just run it up to two amps and we'll put the fan on them I just I like to run a little fan on this just to keep everything cool yeah the lipo doesn't care that lipo is not gonna warm up at all two amps to this lipo is really nothing so we'll go ahead and let this discharge and I'm just gonna hang out with it and I'll be right back all right so time lapse about two two minutes and 36 seconds and I seen here on my on my little motor controller my little LED has gone out so that means there's not enough juice left in the 1s to power this at all so even the LED's gone flat uh, so that should be the end of that lipo and then uh, I can salvage my connector you don't want to do this unless you know that's flat because otherwise <laughs> when you go to cut across both of them uh, you'll get quite a spark um, but I got faith in that killed it good so I'll go ahead and fold this out of the way I'll just put a little piece of because the material in here has a chance to rebound a little bit I'm just gonna go ahead and put some tape on the end of it and then I will take this up to my batteries plus store and turn it in for disposal um, so the positive of the lipo goes to the power positive on the um, PWM motor controller the power negative from the battery and then our little checker the negative side goes here the positive side goes here and that way this is always indicating when you plug in anytime the lipo is plugged in there's an indication um, and then the switch will allow current go to the negative of either side you can put the wires wherever you want uh, the positive over to this side if you want like I said there's no there's no positive or negative on the resistor um, but that's simple circuit to make it and I hope uh, hopefully this was uh, entertaining if anything uh, to those of you that wanted to build one um, just be cautious you know try not to melt or burn or you know if you're discharging or killing your lipo make sure that you're hanging out with it and you're not just leaving it off into the corner somewhere um, like I said it's only a few minutes to to take one down uh, so keep an eye on it but yeah something simple something very inexpensive you can purchase all this stuff pretty pretty cheap on amazon um, i just i have a bunch of these i've gotten over the years uh, just kind of like a pile of them so uh, but hey if you found this entertaining or uh, enjoyed this video you know give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you hated it man you give it a thumbs down it all works enjoy the breeze